people let me tell you about my best friend He drained all my money from my bank account Sure, it doesn't rhyme, but dogs do make the perfect companions and they're normally easy to get. One quick trip to a dog shelter or a pet shop and you're all set. The type of dog you'll eventually choose depends upon a lot of factors, such as size, temperament, and of course, price. Here are 20 of the most expensive dogs in the world. Our first entry is the St. Bernard. The 1992 movie Beethoven catapulted this breed's popularity, and might have something to do with its hefty price tag, which is around $1,500 a pup. To kick off this list, we begin with the Large St. Bernard, a breed of working dog from the Western Alps in Italy and Switzerland. They were originally bred for rescue purposes by the Hospice of the Great St. Bernard Pass on the Italian-Swiss border. And although they are often depicted wearing a liquor-filled barrel around their necks, there's actually no records of these dogs being used as mobile bars. Our next entry is the Lake Land Terrier. The Lake Land Terrier takes its name from its place of origin, the Lake District in England. Generally speaking, the dog is small to mid-size and weighs around 7 to 8 kilograms. It's mostly hypoallergenic, which means it doesn't shed its hair as much as other dog breeds. Oh dear lord, that sounds very nice right now, actually. This makes them perfect house pets, and it's a great family companion. One of these colorful carriages will require you to part ways with a good 2k of your hard-earned cash. Our next entry is the Irish Wolfhound. A rather tall and peculiar looking beast, the Irish Wolfhound is a historic sighthound from Ireland. It was primarily bred to pursue game and be a guard dog, and is particularly good at hunting and protecting humans and livestock against wolves. Reaching heights of around 30 to 32 inches and weighing around 150 pounds, this breed isn't only huge, but also carries a hefty price tag. An Irish Wolfhound will cost you around 3,000 big ones. Our next entry is the Black Russian Terrier. Wanting one of these furry giants is going to set you back around 3500 bucks. Yeah, they ain't particularly cheap, but think of it as a good investment because they make great pets and are particularly good around children. They were originally bred by the USSR and the Red Star Kennels during the late 40s and the early 50s for use as military or working dogs. This breed rarely barks and aren't really good guard dogs, mostly relying on their intimidating looks to ward off intruders. Our next entry is the Bedlington Terrier. Named after the town of Bedlington, Northumberland in Northeast England, this small terrier packs a punch when it comes to the price tag. Originally, the fast and nimble Bedlingtons were bred to hunt vermin such as rats and mice. However, it has since been used in dog racing, dog shows, and numerous dog sports. The dogs have blue, liver, or sandy coloration and are extremely good with children. If you've got a spare $4,000 burning a hole in your pocket, then this could be the dog for you. Our next entry is the English Bulldog. At $4,300 a pup, this medium-sized brute comes in as the 15th most expensive dog on our list. Its wrinkly face and a distinctive pushed-in button nose are its most recognizable features. According to the American Kennel Club, Bulldogs were the fourth most popular breed in the U.S. in 2016. That is despite their polarizing appearance. However, they're notorious for ongoing health problems, so the price you pay to buy one initially might also be the price you pay in maintenance. Our next entry is the Portuguese Water Dog. Next on our list is a breed of working dog as classified by the American Kennel Club, known as the Portuguese Water Dog. Originally in the Algarve, Portugal, this breed was made popular by former U.S. President Barack Obama's dog called Bee. This fluffy creature is easily identified by their wavy and curly coat that, to the delight of the White House cleaning staff, doesn't shed. They also live for about 14 years. Want to have your own presidential doggo chewing your couch? Well, you can have one for 5000 Our next entry is the Saluki. Another pricey hound, the Saluki was bred by nomadic tribes for the purpose of running down wild game animals. And although they have excellent noses, they primarily use sight to hunt rather than scent. Usually living a good 12 to 14 years, the Saluki has very long legs, a lanky frame, and an overall unconventional appearance. Weighing around 40 to 60 pounds respectively and standing tall at 25 to 28 inches, they are not small dogs, and the price of 5,500 certainly reflects that. Our next entry is the French Bulldog. The French Bulldog is the result of a cross between English Bulldogs and Parisian Ratters. Originating in the 1800s, these cute yet pricey animals get their hefty price tag from exclusivity. 
They're notoriously difficult to breed and due to their narrow hips only produce two to three puppies per litter. This is the main reason why these little beauties are one of the most expensive dogs in the world, costing upwards of 6k. Which apparently isn't a factor to some of my friends who have French Bulldogs who always gang up on my flippin' German Shepherd every time they come over for playdates. She's a gentle soul, dang it. Our next entry is the Akita. The Akita is a pretty expensive breed of dog whose origins lie in the mountainous regions of northern Japan, but everybody knows that. However, what's not commonly known is that there are two types of Akita, the Japanese Akita and the American Akita. They're normally easy to identify due to the variation in colors. Japanese Akitas come in narrower palette of colors, whereas the American strain of Akita comes in all dog colors. Females can weigh around 34 to 50 kilograms and males weigh in around 45 to 59 kilos. Males reach heights of about 26 to 28 inches and females reach heights of 24 to 26. Whether it's the Japanese or the American variety, you'll be expected to pay around 6,500 for one of these dogs. Our next entry is the Afghan Hound. Easily distinguishable by its ring curl tail and thick silky smooth hair, the Afghan Hound was bred for its unique features in the mountains of Afghanistan. They're around 27 inches tall and usually weigh in at around 60 pounds. Their coat can be in any color like fawn, gold, or cream with a black facial mask. Any white markings on this breed are considered undesirable as they draw you away from the beauty of the pure black face. Its uniqueness and individuality are probably enough to justify its 7k price tag. It possibly. Our next entry is the Pharaoh Hound. Being the national dog of Malta, the Pharaoh Hound gets a lot of attention for its very unique appearance and disposition. It is also called the Keb Talfanek in Maltese, which means rabbit dog, and is traditionally used for hunting rabbits in the Maltese islands. Pharaoh hounds tend to weigh up to 45 to 55 pounds, depending on the sex of the dog and its eating habits. Males usually are 23 to 25 inches tall, while females are 21 to 24 inches. They're loyal and can be trained well, making them another great addition to the family if you can afford its hefty price tag of 7,500. Our next entry is the Dogo Argentino. Muscling its way into the number 8 spot is the Dogo Argentino. Traditionally bred to be used for big game hunting, the muscular monster is one of the most expensive dogs in the entire world. It was first bred in 1928 from the Cordoba Fighting Dog along with other breeds like the Great Dane. The dogs have a large white muscular body with a short coat and a deep set thick chest. They're very large, muscly dogs that have a very intimidating appearance. They also have a fierce reputation, often lending them in the conversation of most dangerous dogs in the world as well. However, with proper training and regular exercise, they can be great family pets. That is, if you're willing to fork out 8K for one of these dogs. Our next entry is the Canadian Eskimo Dog. The Canadian Eskimo Dog is one of the oldest and rarest working dogs. They originally came from the Arctic and were brought from Siberia to North America by the Thule people over a thousand years ago. Their numbers began to diminish toward the end of the 1960s due to the increasing popularity of snowmobiles and the spread of infectious canine diseases. Now threatened with extinction with an estimate of only 300 purebred dogs left, you can see why they command such a large price of $87.50 per pup. Our next entry is the Rottweiler. The Rottweiler is a large domestic dog bred for working purposes in Germany. They were known as Rottweiler Metzgerhund, which means Rottweil butcher's dogs and their main use was to pull carts full of butchered meat to markets and herd livestock, and due to their muscular stature, were probably good at it. Today, they are one of the most expensive dog breeds in the world, going for around $9,000. With an average lifespan of 8 to 10 years, a weight of 110 to 132 pounds, and reaching heights of 24 to 27 inches, they look very imposing, and it would be very easy to think that the Rottweiler is an aggressive monster. However, the Rottweiler is a great family pet due to its loyalty, obedience, and overall good nature. No, I just want to pet it. Our next entry is the Ozawak. This ancient hunting hound is so lean and rangy that his bone structure and musculature can plainly be seen beneath his skin. More like an underfed stray than a pure breed, you'll be surprised to find out that one of these dogs is going to cost you 9,500 bucks. The Ozawak is an active breed requiring daily exercise to keep both mind and body healthy. Adult Ozawaks can make great running companions. Failing at that, a daily half-hour play session in a well-fenced field, park, or yard will keep the hound happy and healthy. However, an Ozawak left alone in the yard will not self-exercise, kind of like me when left alone in the gym. 
Our next entry is the Tibetan Mastiff. This absolute giant dog originates from Tibet and belongs to the Mastiff family. Its original purpose was to protect sheep from predators like wolves, leopards, and bears. Its size alone is enough to intimidate even the hungriest of predators. Although they were originally used as guardians, over time the enormous dogs became too expensive to maintain for their nomadic owners, and then their numbers slowly began to diminish. Though if you've got a spare 10k and want to make a bit of a statement, then this might be the pup for you. Our next entry is the Lochin. The Lochin is one of the smallest breeds on our list, but at the same time is in the top three when it comes to price. The American Kennel Club classes it as a non-sporting dog and it's often considered to be a toy dog by registries. Because of how they look, they're often called Little Lions. It once had the title of the rarest dog in the world, as in 1973 there were only 65 of these dogs left. Today, there are only 300 new dogs registered worldwide each year. This rarity is what bumped up the price for this breed, which currently sells at $12,000. Now it's time for today's best pick. Just looking at today's best pick, you'll be hard pressed to believe that this panda looking thing is actually a dog. Believe it or not though, it actually is, but probably not in the way that you're expecting. Find out what I mean next with... The Panda Dog. With their distinctive black and white fluffy coats and black eye patches, it'd be easy to mistake one of these popular pooches for an actual panda, an endangered bear native to South Central China. But in all actuality, the panda dog isn't a panda at all. They're usually Chow Chows, a fluffy breed of dog also native to China, who have been specially groomed, hair clipped, and dyed so that they merely resemble pandas. Chow Chows, of course, are pretty expensive dogs themselves, starting in at around 11,000 bucks each. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our last entry is the Samoyed. Beating 19 other dogs in our list of the 20 most expensive dogs in the world is the magnificent Samoyed. It's easily identifiable by its beautiful, thick, white, double-layer coat. Originally a large herding dog from Siberia, and it lives between 12 to 13 years on average. These cute fluffy dogs are becoming incredibly rare, and at $14,000 a pup, they are currently the most expensive dog breed in the world, bar none. Can you afford getting any one of these breeds? Let us know down below in the comments. Also make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!